shoulder. So come to lift and roll your shoulders. Lift your feet and just place your feet down. And so because this goes through the chakras sequentially, although it's quite, um, sometimes you, you wouldn't know that, you're starting, bring your attention to the base chakra, which is right almost at the perineal area. Now just breathe in and out of the base chakra. And then run your mind's eye up, it's in front of your spine, it's internally, to somewhere between the navel and the base chakra. And it's different for everybody, it's just around a sense. And again, just breathe in and out at this point. So the base chakra is the element of earth, and we now come to the element of water. And then moving your mind up really to the next area, which is the mid chakra, around the navel area, extends a little bit further higher and up. And that is the solar, is the manipura chakra around the navel digestion and the element of fire. And then just let your mind drift up to behind the heart. And this is the element of air and the sense of touch. And then to the throat. So the finer essences of air through the ether, coloured blue. And then the next is the third eye. So through the intuition, feeling, intuition, metabolic control, wisdom, and then the top of the head, the crown of the head. And then just release the hands, lift and roll the shoulders. And then walk to the top of the mat, and we're going to do some very gentle salute to the sun. Hands together at the heart centre. Soften the knees. Circle the arms up. Stretch up. Palms together. Come through the heart centre, bending the knees. And bring the hands to either side of your feet. Relax the head down. Step back and put inside your right foot back. Keep it high, and then lower your right knee to the ground. Slide your left foot back, you're in tabletop. Breathing in, dip the back and look either up or long back. Breathing out, round the back, chin to chest. Breathing in, dip the back. And rounding the back, chin to chest, tuck the toes, tummy in, come to downward dog. Lengthen the spine, then lengthen the legs. Feel that you can widen the feet towards the edges of the mat. And feel that you can walk your feet fractionally towards your hands. Walking the dog by extending one heel and then the other heel. Stretch both heels back, tummy in, and then drop your knees to the ground. I'll tuck your feet and come to just stretch out in extended child's pose. And then come to kneeling again, hands to the left. Space for the right foot to come up. Hands to either side of the right foot. Tuck the left toes, tummy in again. Lift up and step the left foot to the right foot. Hands onto the shins, half lift. Breathe out, curl in. Breathe in, half lift. And stay here as you breathe out. Breathing in, press the feet down and roll up vertebra by vertebra to standing. Arms up, stretch the fingers. 
And then we just circle the wrists down. Lift and roll the shoulders. Hands together at the heart centers and come to the left side. Soften the knees, hands up, stretch up, palms together. Come through the heart center, bend the knees, hands onto the shins, half lift. And then just soften the knees, hands to the ground, step or slide your left foot back, keep it high, left knee to the ground, slide your right foot back. Breathing in, half up, dip your back foot up. Breathing out, cat cat sequence, round the back, chin to chest. Breathing in, dipping the back. And as you breathe out, rounding the back again, tap the toes and come to your downward dog again. Walk the dog, moving your feet and adjusting them to suit you. And then lower the knees to the ground. Once more, come to your child's pose, stretching the arms in front of you. And just slightly sway from left to right, so you're slightly lifting up one hand and then the other, just stretching out the lower back. Come to me on all fours, hands go to the right, left foot comes up, hands to either side of the left foot, tuck the back left, right toes, lift the right knee and step the right foot to the left, hands onto the shins. Half lift. And breathing out, soften in. Half lift. Stay here as you breathe out. And breathing in, soften the knees and roll up to standing. Hands up, stretch, and lower the hands. Lift and roll the shoulders. Breathing in, hands up, stretch and reverse. To one side, come to the center, to the other side. Come to the center, turn a little bit, center and turn to the other side. Come to the center. Just lift your feet, your heels, Test your balance, and then lower the heels, soften the knees. You're in a mini chair pose, look down at the ground. Come to standing, release your hands. Lift and roll the shoulders as you clasp the hands behind the back, aim the knuckles to the ground, opening up at the shoulder level. Turn to the left, centre, and turn to the right. Come to the center. Release the hands. Just circle the wrists one way, and then circle the wrists in the opposite direction. And then release the hands. Slide the hands down the shin, to the shins. Half lift again. Breathe out, soften in. Breathe in, half lift, and stay here as you breathe out. And then breathing in, roll up out of the way, left foot to standing. Lift and roll the shoulders, hands to the heart. And then come to seated position on the mat. The legs out in front of you. Toes up and toes away, just a couple of times, getting into circulation. Sorry about that. <laughs> and, um, and just circle the ankles in one direction. And then circle the ankles in the opposite direction. And then 
and just stretch the toes out. And then just sway the feet from side to side. And then I'm happy as well. A combination of bend the leg and the arms slow. And stop. have your legs slightly wide and apart. Just lightly touch your fingers to either side of you. Turn to the left. And then leading with the chest, just come down a little bit. So if you've got a sore back, you might not want to come down very far. Just a nod to come in over the left leg. Forward bend is common for the nervous system. Your heels, your left heel certainly is extended. Tummy in as you press your hands down to slide the hands up, left leg, hands to either side. Turn to the right, and then you're sliding the hands down the right leg. Again, feel that you're not coming down too far if you've got a back issue. If you want to go further and really push yourself, hold the outside of your right foot with your left hand and your right hand behind and turn to look behind you. And then very gently slide up, bend the knees and come to, Sue should be here, Come to um, soles of the feet together. It's called Vatikanasana. So I um, would just suggest using your thumbs to massage any parts of your foot. And I'm desperately trying to think from Sue whether the back is on the outside or on the inside. It might be on the outside. In the vertebrae. She says the it's, down, it's down the edge here, isn't it? She said to said you go, I think, from the little toe and you can feel the ridges. Because if you go down the outside of the foot, I think. Yes, that's right. I think it's outside. Side. Side. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. So just massage from the outside of your Funny feet. enough, it's sore. Oh, right. Mm. That's right. It's sore it's lighted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's always my and just the ankles are your lymphatic points inside and out. And then your upper lymphatic, that's the lower lymphatic, the upper lymphatic and lower on the tops of the feet. And your opening your groins, which is the lower lymph system, bounce your legs in and out. And then just Lift your knees up. And we're going to come to the back here. So come to my I come to my on your back knees bent. Might not get you up again. <laughs> and just hands beside you. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> And then just very gently turn your head from side to side. So which side of your back, if there is a side, is a little bit more tender? Natalie, which side of your oh, back is it that is to just... Um, it's difficult to tell because I, I know it's hormonal. Okay. And it's, I've had everything checked out and everything. It tends to change positions. Okay. So it's a lot of the time it's by my bra strap area. So that's um, is that what part is that? So it's not cervical, is it? It's thoracic spine. Yeah, it's there. Okay. 
I don't think it helps that you're on your phone a lot. I'm sure there's, some, there's a connection claiming your neck. Okay. Look at your phone. So here your, and your spine is being supported by the ground. Just bring your neck to centre. And again, with back issues, don't sway your knees too far, but just a very gentle sway with the knees a little bit from side to side. So if you want to take it further, you can obviously sway down further, lifting your hips off the ground one at a time, and you can have your feet wider, but just back is feeling a bit sore then just explore a little bit of movement. Come to the centre. And extend the right leg along the mat. Keep the left leg bent. And now hug the left knee into the chest. So if your back is playing up, you can soften this um, a little bit, but for the moment, by, by bending the right knee, but by, for the moment we'll keep the right leg extended, because what we're going to do is just roll the entire body over to the right, keeping the left knee bent. Your knee might go to the ground, your right hand will naturally come to the outside of your left thigh, and um, just for the moment keep your left hand on your left waist, and just gently look up, you can look over to the left, just letting the mat, the earth support you. Your foot, your left foot is perhaps resting on the thigh, the right thigh. Just take a couple of breaths here. And very gently roll onto the back. Hug the left knee into the chest. If this is too much, you can always now bend your right knee. And hugging the left knee into the chest, just circle the left knee a few times in one direction. So if you've been doing a lot of walking, you're likely to have been moving your um, legs in one, not one direction, but a repetitive walking movement. And they won't necessarily, uh, the legs and the hip socket, have a circular rotational movement. So this just balances that up. And then you can just very gently circle the knee in the opposite direction. And then just place the left foot on the floor by holding, supporting it by the, um, your hands and slide the left leg along the mat as you hug the right knee into the chest. Gently roll the entire body to the left. Right foot perhaps resting on top of the left thigh, and right hand on the right waist, left hand on the outside of the right thigh. So it should be a natural movement. You can close your eyes or you can look to the side. Look Slightly to the right. And then very gently bring your tummy in as you roll onto your back again. Hug your right knee into your chest. You can keep your left leg extended, or if you want to soften it, bend your left knee. And then just circle your right knee in one direction. And 
can and circle the right knee in the opposite direction. And then hold the right knee into the chest, let the left knee join it, and then just very gently rock, hugging both knees into the chest from side to side. And you can rock a little bit, or you can rock right the way down. And then just place the right foot down and come to half happy baby. So yogically you would hold the foot from the inside toes to the out, but you can have the option for an easier hold, which is the outside of the foot. Right hand on the waist or on the hip and on the floor. And just your own on the hip another way. And then keep your heel for very long. And then to come out of that, you can just put your foot down, but if you want to stretch and your arms are long, hold your big toe and just stretch your leg out. If your arms aren't going to do that because it's quite a stretch to the back of the leg, just hold the back of the leg to stretch your leg out. And then bend the left feet in. Place the left foot on the floor and come to half happy baby on the right side holding either inside or outside to where it suits you. You can just slightly rock from side to side. And then again to come out of that you can stretch out your right leg either holding anywhere on the right behind the back the right leg, or you can hold your right big toe and stretch your leg. That works for you. I think it comes down to just having long arms actually. And then hug your right knee into your chest, and then place the right foot on the floor. And then just slide the legs out along the ground. And breathing in, bending the right arm, raise the right arm above the Head stretching the right arm away from you, stretching the right heel. Breathe out, turn your head to the left, just check that your left shoulder is down away from the knee. Breathe into the center as you bring the head back to the center. And breathing out, lower the right arm and just totally relax the right side. And then breathing in, raise the left arm, extend the left heel, stretch the left side. Breathing out, turn the head to the right. Breathing in, bring the head back to centre. And breathing out, lower the left arm. And then breathing in, raise both arms above you. Stretch both heels. Stay here as you breathe out. Breathe in, stretch again. And breathing out, lower both arms back down alongside you. And again as you breathe in, raise the arms up. Stretch the heels, stretch the arms. And this time, lower the arms on the next abdomen. And then bend the knees again. Feet hip width apart. And then bend both knees into the chest. And breathing in, raise the left arm above you. But left heel goes up to the ceiling. And breathing out, hug the left knee into the chest. 
breathing in the right side, right palm goes up and right heel extends and breathing out, hugging the right knee into the chest. And once more to each side in your own breath. Just hug both knees into the chest, holding the knees, both knees away from you. Again, both knees into the chest, and both knees away. Again. And then supporting the legs to bring the feet onto the ground. We're going to roll to the side and gently come to a seated position. Um, initially cross leg. And then moving, we've moved from the bottom chakra, the two chakras, and they're now moving up to the third chakra. And so we're just going to sit, hands on knees, breathing in, breathing out, chin to chest. And just do this a couple of times, breathing in, sitting up, breathing out, chin to chest. Again, and chin to chest. And back to the side. Just slide the left hand to one side, bend the right elbow, just stretch under the, on the right side, breathing in, come upright, and slide the right hand out, bend the elbow, and just come up side. Come to upright. And nod to your upper back, arms out, hug, come forward, and just slightly sway from side to side. So this should open up your thoracic area quite nicely. And if you find that you want to linger in one part, then linger. Hoping that helps, it's not doing the opposite. And just remember which hands on the top, because we're going to open the arms and then hug and come to the other side. And then come upright, just hands to either side of you, stretch the legs out, just bounce the legs. And coming to this center always involves um, rotation. So again, on your back, just attention. This is terribly gentle. Cross the left um, ankle over the right, sitting up. Raise the right hand, tummy in, and just bring the right hand to the outside of the left leg. Lengthen the body and breathing out. Turn to the bone of the left shoulder. Very gentle rotation. Keep the body turned to the left, but just move your head to turn and look over your right shoulder. Don't go quite so far. Bring the head back to the centre and unravel yourself and cross your legs and to your knees. And then Right foot over the left, left hand up, over to the right outside, right hand behind you, breathing in length from the body and breathing out, turn to look over the right shoulder. Just 
keep the head and body where it is, turn the head to look over the left, bring the head back to the centre and then unravel, hands to either side. Again, the back issues, just be cautious about coming forward, but just to compensate for that rotation, just leave with the chest, slide the hands down, but don't come down too far. Just come to come forward, and again, your hands might be resting on your shins, but if you're um, got if you've got long arms, you can hold your big toes, with your thumbs. Again, this is just biology, I think. Just keep your long arms. And then sliding up, come to a cross-legged or comfortable position. And at this point, um, there's an invitation to do a breath work called um, Shining Skull of the Series, but it's Kapyabhati. Um, if you've got a headache, flag that up. I was thinking of Sarah yesterday. Oh, yes. Uh, yes. The vestibular movements would not be good for her. So if you're watching Sarah afterwards, you might not want to do this, but you might have recovered. So it's um, breathing in, and the out breath is through the nose, but it's forced. So I'll just do a couple and just join in when you feel that you want to. So it's Stop breathing in, hold, and breathing out, and then another round. into your chest. And when you feel you've got to breathe out, just release the breath. And just observe. So it works on clearing this part of the head. Because if you have a migraine, you might not want to do that. In which case, just breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth as an alternative. And then in this series, we come to leave the digestive system and move to the heart. And I'm going to suggest a gentle coming to a standing, but um, in the traditional series, what they would do is to lift the hands up, slap the hands on the floor, jump back into downward dog, and then jump forward and come to standing, of course. Um, however, the view my abdominals won't take that. <laughs> You're very welcome to do that. We might like, <laughs> we might like to come to a more gentle ascent. Um, um, and that's up to you. I think they're going for the gentle approach. Yeah. Um, so I think I've never been able to do that. <laughs> that's when I was a child. Well to standing. And um, just stretching out the muscles. Come to uh, standing. So this is a modification of warrior two, and with a warrior, because um, you're lifting your chest, it comes back to the heart, and it is almost a back bend when you lift your chest. Um, but it's grounding, and it's very good for osteoporosis, if you're weight bearing. Um, so turn the left foot in slightly and the right foot out. Come to your warrior two by raising the hands, just dropping the front knee, just checking that the knee's not coming in. And then come to standing again and bring the left palm to join the right palm. Slide the left palm back at a high level. 
doing thinking, raise the right hand up, not the thumb, and open the hands only as wide as you're able to. And again, left palm to right palm. Draw an imaginary bow with the left elbow high. Breathing in, look up to the right thumb and out. And one more time, left palm to right palm. Draw your imaginary bow. Right thumb. As you look up, you look at it, hand up and then out. Lower the hands. Bring the um, right toe in so the toes are in, lift and raise, and then left toe out. Right foot in. Come to your warrior two on the other side, dropping the weight centrally. Feel that someone's holding your right hand, just pulling the back, which will take the weight off your left knee. Then comes perhaps straightening the left leg, and the right palm now comes to the left palm. Draw your imaginary bow, and then looking up to your thumb, and opening the arms. And again, right palm to left. Draw your imaginary bow. Breathing in, looking up, palms out. And last time, right palm to left. Draw the imaginary bow. Breathing in, looking up, palms out. Lower the arms, bringing the feet in. And then just bend your knees as you slide your hands down the legs. Your hands might reach the floor. That's fine. And you might just come to sway your knees subtly from side to side. But check your release in your head. And you might want to carry on swaying or just come to the centre to compensation for the movement you made. And then just um, heel toe your feet in, so toes come in, heels come in. And then when they're comfortable distance apart, really bend your knees, press the feet down, and roll up vertebra by vertebra to standing. Lift and roll the shoulders and come back to feet hip apart. And we're going to do a Tibetan triangle, which is very different from a normal triangle. Have your left hand really glued against your left thigh. Raise your right hand, palm inwards, and glue your right inner arm to the right ear as far as you can. And then just slide your hand, left hand down, chin in. We're not going to go very far, it becomes a lateral stretch, which is the purpose of triangle. Breathing in, come upright, stretching up. And breathing out, lower the right arm. Lift and roll the right shoulder. And then snake the left arm up, reversing on the other side. You can almost glue the inner left arm to the ear, chin to chest, slide down. You feel that you're between two panes of glass. You're really not going to go very far, but it's a much more a toning lateral stretch than perhaps. You might do otherwise, and then press the feet down, come upright, and lower the left hand. Lift and roll the shoulders. Join the thumbs together, raise them above the head. And this is a very Ayurvedic movement, Pasapang Vata Dosha, which is the air element principally. And um, this is um, balancing the dip. The Vata dish is very helpful for any pain. So coming back to your back, you do. <laughs> um, just a swaying from side to side. It also serves to disconnect you. You can't really think very much when you're swaying like this. So it's almost like a mindfulness perspective as well. And then just very, very gently. Lower the hands, lift and roll the shoulders. And then come back down to the mat once more. 
And this is an interesting um, set of sequences that we don't normally follow. Come to, we're going to come to briefly come to our backs. It is briefly. And have your palms of your hands really close to the bottom. Your knees bend, your feet are hip width apart. And then almost lift your bottom and just slide your thumb underneath your bottom so that your bottom is resting on um, the top of your thumb, almost your um, wrist and second finger. And then if you are if not too uncomfortable, hug your knees into your chest and just for a moment have your legs slightly up and just sway from side to side. You can cross your ankles if you prefer this just sway from side to side. If that's not comfortable, then you can really have your hands underneath and just hold the backs of your legs. That might work for you better. And you might feel more supported if you're just swaying the legs from side to side. There's a nod to a mini inversion. And then you just very gently hug the knees into the chest. And circle both knees as a, as a single unit in one direction. So you're again massaging again along the base of the spine. And your circles can be small, they can be quite large. And then supporting the legs underneath to bring the feet down. And then again, this is unusual, so it's getting you moving perhaps more than normal. We're going to roll onto your tummy and come into Sphinx Pose. So this, again, is lifting at the chest, elbows are underneath you. You're looking at the floor. And just for the lower back issues, just wobble your bottom from side to side. Tuck the right toes under and extend the right heel back and then release the right foot, just let it drop out. Tuck the left toes under, release back. Drop the leg, wobble the bottom. You can feel that it lifts you up, but again, just for a slight um, focus here, press your Elbows into the ground, pull yourself forward a millimetre and then just release, just creating space. And then just widen your elbows, rest your head either on the backs of the hands or you can turn your head to one side or the other side. Widen your knees, have your soles of the feet coming up to the ceiling and then just rock from side to side with your feet. Lower the feet to the ground and then slide the elbows. We're going to come to a, your version of child to so press your hands into the ground, elbows up, come to kneeling. Then you might want to widen your knees. And you can either have your arms in front of you, make fists with your hands to rest your, hand, your forehead onto your um, fists, or come to classic child. All very helpful for the back. Different focus of the breath, the space of the back now, space between the vertebrae. So again, for that upper thoracic area, just a very gentle stretch through this, actually the whole back, you know, the focus on the lower back. The bottom doesn't come to, have to come to your heels, the bottom can be up slightly. It's calming for the nervous system. And you 
can stay like this, or if you wanted the ultimate to be moved from the throat up to the third eye, and if you wanted an, uh, the absolute top of the head, and I was saying, child, if you wanted that to just come to what I call deer pose, your knees come back towards hip width apart, and to support the body's weight on your hands. And you just connect the top of the head to the ground. So there's no pressure on the neck. All the body weight is taken. But if you're not a fan of this, then I quite understand. But it's just finishing and massaging the top of the head, which is stimulating the crown head, which you get in the headstand, but without the detrimental neck effect. And then just very gently come to release that and come back to a seated position. I'm going to come cross legged, but you can come however you want to. And come to have a thought for the day you or someone close to you and have that thought a few times, three times, that sound help and your resolution and then just let that go. Your intention for the day has been set. And then just very gently take one hand, it doesn't matter which hand, and just gently stroke your fingers across the forehead. Always coming on and off at the same point, it doesn't matter which direction you go in either. Just, just gently stroke across. Just take your mind to anywhere there's any pain, like niggles, or, and just soften, and just imagine that pain just being floating away, either releasing out where it is, or just coming out of your breath. And then just bring the focus to the nostrils, into the nostrils. And as you breathe in, imagine the breath travelling to a point that you imagine to be in the centre of your head. And as you breathe out, the out breath takes with it anything that's not serving you today. And just dissipates out through the soles of the feet, back to the earth. So breathing in again. The breath goes to a point in the centre of the head. And breathing out, it takes with it either any pain or Thoughts you don't want to just take anything that's serving you today it's out through the sorts of feet. And just a couple more breaths, you're cleansing the body and the mind. Leaves the body. And then just let that thought, that breath go. And now bring your chin slightly to your chest, your hands to your heart, and take a breath for yourself for the day ahead. Thank you.